Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Gaming. I'm Rick, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is an awesome controller. It's actually one of the best options for playing your games on your Nintendo Switch. And although I haven't officially reviewed it on the channel yet, I thought that today we could have some fun with it, and rather than just reviewing the controller, I thought we could start by modding it. Because even though the Switch Pro Controller is an awesome controller, if there's one thing that it's maybe lacking is a little bit of visual upgrades. They did come out with a couple of special models over the years, but other than that, the general Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is pretty bland. So today, we're going to make this Pro Controller look like this Pro Controller. And just before we get started, I just want to mention that the products have been provided to me free of charge by Extreme Rate, but this is in no way a sponsored video. So all the comments and basically my evaluation of the end product is really going to be my own opinion. I haven't been paid by Extreme Rate. They just offered me to take a look at their products and if I liked it, to make a video about them. Now they did provide me with a couple of other kits that we'll actually take a look at in other videos, but I thought that this would be an awesome starting point because if you've never modded anything in your life, I find that these shell replacements for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller are an awesome place to get started just because it gets your feet wet, but without going too deep into the controller where you might actually break or damage something. Because although we'll have to be opening up the Pro Controller in this process, we're actually going to keep most of its guts intact and really just replace the shell. So like I said, it's really an awesome starting point if you've never modded anything before. And as you get through the video, if you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you aren't already. Those likes and subscribes really help the video get more visibility on YouTube, so please don't forget. Now let's get started and take a look at this kit. Now I thought we could get started by taking a quick look at what comes in the kit. So when you get on the inside, you obviously have a small pack with a screwdriver and all the replacement screws you'll need for installing the shell. In most cases, you can actually use the original screws from your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. However, when I'm using a shell, I prefer using the screws that come with it just in case there's a little bit of difference in the size. Now in the video, you'll see that I'll be using my personal screwdriver, but this one can do the job just fine. Now next, we have a little baggie with a replacement D-pad and uh, face buttons, just because my particular kit came with different colored buttons, because as you can see, it's an NES-styled uh, retro controller. What I really love about Extreme Rate is that so far, from what I've seen, their products are really top-notch quality, and on top of it, they have a lot of different models. If you go on their website, you can have skins that are as easy as just getting different colors for your Nintendo Switch, all the way to have specifically themed controllers like this one. Like I said, that copy a sort of uh, old classic NES style. There's one that looks like a Super Nintendo controller. It's just really fun to add a little flair to your Pro Controller. Now lastly, we have the shell itself. Now I'm gonna open the bag and take a look at exactly what's in here, but you'll see that the shell itself is actually just about four different parts. So here you have the shell in its four different parts. You have the grips that will go on the controller once everything is put back together. Then you just have the front face plate and basically the back face plate. As I said, what's really fun about this mod is that all the guts and the insides of the controller remain exactly the same to the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, meaning that you don't lose any of the quality really. So now we're gonna set all this aside and we're gonna take apart our Nintendo Switch Pro controller because that's pretty much the first step to installing this shell. Now here we have the Pro controller. Just before we get started, don't forget that as you go along, set all the parts aside and I would really keep them because you never know in the future if you ever want to revert to your original shell or if you just would need it as a replacement part if ever something breaks or even if one of your friend's controller needs a replacement ship part. The first part is just removing the grips. For that, you have one screw on each side that we're just going to take out. Now for the second step, we have four more screws to take out right here at the back, right that were hidden basically under those grips. Now at this point you should be able to easily remove the back plate to the controller. 
giving you access to also removing the battery. Now we're going to have five more screws to tackle. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, as you saw, I actually switched to the included screwdriver for the last two because it needed a tip that was so thin that my screwdriver actually couldn't hit those screws, but the provided one fit just fine. Now, at this point, we're going to pull the a little bit of force and the assembly should come apart to your Pro Controller. Now, you don't want to pull too hard because we have a ribbon cable here that we're going to have to detach before we go any further. Now, you can do it with your fingernails, but if you have a pair of, of tweezers, I really recommend using tweezers. It's just easier to make sure that you don't damage that ribbon cable. Now, the bottom part of the assembly, you can just set aside because we're pretty much done with it. The only last thing we have to do is get the front face plate uh, apart. And for that, we're going to have four last screws to take out right here, 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 and here. Now, once those four screws are out, the front assembly should come off really pretty easy. So the next step is we're going to take the faceplate for the replacement shell. We're going to flip it over. And basically, we're going to start by installing the buttons that came with the controller into the front assembly. Next step is we're going to swap over basically the rubber D-pad here. You're going to want to swap it over from your original Pro Controller over the replacement part right here. You're also going to need the rubber part from your original Pro Controller to go over the face buttons. Now the last thing we need to do is basically swap over the rest of the buttons that are not replacements. So you have the uh, plus minus home and a capture button basically. So once you have those installed, as I said, I have all the replacement screws here on the side. What you're going to want to do is you're really going to want to split the two larger screws, which are the ones that will hold down your grips at the end from the others. And then basically you're going to work backwards from exactly what we did. So we're going to start by reinstalling the faceplate. So as we remember for the front assembly, we had four screws. And once those are in, I always like to flip the controller around and just feel really quickly to make sure that everything feels like it's in proper place and all my buttons are functioning properly. And everything feels good. Now we're going to reattach the ribbon cable first. Now we're just going to line up our everything to make sure it enters properly. Everything looks good. We're ready to put our five screws in. So if we remember, there's one on each side and two at the top and one at the bottom. Now we're going to reinstall your battery. Just make sure to line up the pins with basically the contacts. It's as easy as that. The battery can really go in only one way for that to fit. Now we installed that replacement back plate. 
and now we're going to switch to four of the metallic colored screws for this step. And now our final step, we're going to install the grips on each side. and secure them down with the last two screws. And one last thing before we move on to the conclusion, don't forget to put away all your original parts. I actually reused the exact same bags that the Extreme Rate uh, shell came in because they're actually really, really well designed for holding all the parts and you know, Keep them aside safely just in case you ever want to go back to your original style. Now here we have it, our beautifully modded Pro Controller. And honestly, I really like adding a little bit of flair to the Pro Controller. It really just feels more epic and more really Nintendo-ish. Uh, of course, I went with one of the retro styles as, like I said, the NES style. But no matter what style you decide to go to with your Pro Controller, I really like just adding a little bit of flair to it. Because like I said, the only thing I bad I have to say about the Pro Controller is it's a little bit bland when you don't have one of the special models. And on top of it, what I really love about Extreme Rate's case so far is that basically it's really high quality. Like the plastic doesn't feel cheap at all. It has that sort of rubbery feel. It actually reminds me a lot of some styles of Xbox One controllers. It feels just as solid and just as good in hand as those first party controllers, which actually really surprised me uh, when I first used one of these shells. And basically, since all the insides are the original Pro Controller, while well, you're losing zero functionality, you're just really adding, like I said, a little bit of better looking aesthetics. So there we have it. Not even 15 minutes of work and we have an awesome modded Pro Controller that really, like I said earlier, just adds a whole new dimension to enjoying your Pro Controller. And not to sound like a broken record, but like I said, it is such an easy mod that if you've never done anything like this before, it's a great first try because the, the risk is almost zero. Other than one tiny ribbon cable that you have to detach, there's almost no risk to actually damaging your Pro Controller. And if you just take your time and do it step by step, there is no way it won't work out. So if any of you out there try these mods, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions about any of the installation process or anything that didn't seem clear in the video, please leave it in the comments down below. I also included a couple of links that were provided to me by Extreme Rate because since they were so gracious to provide all these you know, products free of charge, well, I said, of course, I'll leave the links in the video. But as I'm mentioning, they did not sponsor it, so I don't get any kickbacks or anything from using those links. So feel free to buy them wherever you wish. However, as I said earlier, what will help me a lot is to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you aren't already, because like I said earlier, it really does help out a lot for the channel. And as usual, here's hoping I see you in my next video.